Remember the Fox Ear Unbreakable Drone? Well, this is its big brother, the three and a half inch sibling that can carry any action camera you could possibly throw at it. This thing has the same type of polycarbonate, super rigid guards, not ducks, so you don't get as much of that prop wash. It has really large 2105.5 motors that can push these three and a half inch props on a full size 6S battery. So if you want a Cinewhoop that can use the same batteries that you fly on a race or freestyle quad, this could be the ticket that can carry any action camera you could possibly throw at it. That's right, the GoPro Hero 11, or my favorite action camera, the DJI Action 2, it can carry it like it's carrying a very light, extra large bag of potato chips because it's that light guys attempting to overthrow the king of all center whoops the slammed squirt 2 can it actually do it well this thing has bigger motors more indestructible guards and a really nice power system provided by fox here so is it gonna do it let's take it around some flights and see one is it smooth two does it have power Three, can it carry a full-size 6S battery and a full-size action camera? If you remember the two and a half inch unbreakable drone that we had here on the channel, this is its larger brother. And it has a very similar design, still with the unbreakable Namaker that means that this thing is gonna be very strong. And these are guards, not ducks, so it won't have negative impacted flight performance. And it's also in a pusher configuration, which is in contrast to the very popular Squirt two right here which is in a traditional configuration this means you're going to have a little bit less prop wash more control and the other ingredient for that additional control is going to be larger more powerful motors and a larger prop the two and a half inch use 1404 motors the three inch typical center whoop uses 1507 motors well this thing uses gigantic in comparison 2105.5 motors that are running at 2650 kv these are new foxier datura motors and they run a new foxier three and a half inch dow prop that means this thing is going to have way more control and power it also means that you can run it on a regular 6s pack like this ovonic 1400 and you can mount it very easily in a toilet tank fashion right here so you're going to have really good weight distribution from the front to the back this has your standard gopro mount on board this is the dji action 2 mount but you could also run a traditional gopro mount with the little feet that attach on right here no problem this is running fox Ears reaper all in one the same one that's in here so very similar components i am using express LRS on both of these craft and I'm actually using HD zero on both of these as well. Both of them using the Foxier Digisight V3 camera. Now, why am I using that versus DJI? Typically on Cinehoops, I like to use DJI. This is the old Nebula Pro system right here. This is a tried and true. This can also run a 1400 milliamp 6S pack. So both of these can run the same packs that you use for racing or freestyle, which is really nice. I think that's going to be a requirement for me with Cinewoops going from this point onwards. This one though, because of the extra power, because of the weight distribution, it's just going to fly a little bit better and have a little bit more control that you're used to. Part of the thing with Cinewoops is that you tend to have to put the throttle to 50% or more to get them off the ground and flying well. Well, this one, because it has so much power, uh, is much less effective. There's a part where I actually ding a tree and kind of swing out of the way and I have totally enough power just to catch myself and keep on flying just like nothing happened. So being able to go a little bit faster, have a little bit more control with the additional power means that for my sin whoop of choice, I'm probably going to be going with something more a little bit like this. Uh, for outdoors and maybe something smaller like this for indoors both of these could carry the action 2 camera with no problem at all if you have the slam squirt 2 do you have to run out and grab one of these uh this is totally acceptable in fact for closer proximity because of the smaller prop this might be a little bit better for tight tight spaces maybe indoors this one would be maybe a little bit faster for outdoors but they're very close and you could get comfortable with either one of them if i was going to hit something i would rather be in the unbreakable drone it's way stronger than these printed 
Ducks. Slam Squirt 2 comes in at 285 grams. Fox Whoop comes in at 275 grams. So this thing actually looks bigger, but it weighs 10 grams less. Part of that is due to the HD0 system being slightly lighter. Now you also can get this in analog and the new DJI 030 unit directly from Fox here. You know, I like to build my own race quads because I'm gonna need to crash and repair them. But when it comes to Cine Whoops, yes, you can build them, uh, but because of how these are structured, it's it's a little bit tight in there. And I really like that I can just go onto the Foxster website, order this. It comes with Express LRS already built in. All I gotta do is put my bind phrase, go out and get cinematic shots. Now I love the action too, but part of the benefit of having something a little more powerful and a little more controllable is being able to carry that long battery for extra flight time and being able to carry the full size GoPro with no issues at all. Is there any downsides to this? I really wish they put some camera protection on here. There's a very similar mount on the two and a half inch and I just printed one of these DJI camera protectors that would probably fit on there as well. Um, so that's what I would do in this case to protect the camera and then you're pretty much set to go. Like try as much as the Houston crew could we could not break this two and a half inch and it is still running perfectly for something like an instago 2 a thumb pro anything of that nature i would use this smaller one and uh, for this gopro hero this is the one probably even lighter. We're gonna do a family size bag of potato chips weight versus this action camera and see which is actually heavier, but I digress. <laughs> and four, how does it do with my personal favorite camera, the DJI Action 2. 